stand-up guest for tonight has been described as the king of ethnic comedy. His new album, Kebab, 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 can be found on Bandcamp.com. Please welcome the one and only Ahmed Zub, everybody! Hey, hey, how you going? When I was in school, the Lebs ate kebabs, the Aussies ate meat pies, the Italians ate pasta, and the Asians ate noodles. What's the deal with that? <laughs> Imagine George Lucas was a Leb. <laughs> Instead of Star Wars, you have Kebab Wars. <laughs> Episode one, the Phantom Kebab. <laughs> Episode two, Attack of the Kebabs. <laughs> Episode three, Revenge of the Kebab. <laughs> Episode four, a new kebab. <laughs> episode five, the Empire Strikes Kebab. <laughs> or episode six, Return of the Kebab. <laughs> Imagine that, eh? Imagine the band ABBA, instead of being Swedish, they were libs. <laughs> money, money, kebab. <laughs> Dancing kebab. Water kebab. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme kebab after midnight. Cos... That's when you have a kebab after midnight. That's... Imagine Steve Jobs was a lib. Instead of an apple, it'd be a kebab. Like, with a bite out of it and that, hey. A knock, knock. Shish. Shish kebab. I have a, I have a mathematical question for you. If 3.14 is pie, is 3.15 kebab? <laughs> when I die, I don't want to be an organ donor. I want to be a donor kebab. <laughs> Imagine Donald Trump was a lab. <laughs> Instead of building a big wall, he'll build a big kebab. <laughs> but. You know, I don't want to offend anyone, but I reckon some politicians are shit. What do you reckon? Yeah. You reckon, like, Malcolm Turnbull, what do you think? A bit of shit? Do you reckon I could do a better job? Yeah. I reckon I'll, I'll be a better Prime Minister. This is, I'll change three things about the country. I love the country, but three things got to change. Number one, traffic. <laughs> There's too much traffic. I get sick of sit sitting in the traffic lights for ages. So what do I do? I'll get rid of traffic lights. <laughs> no traffic lights? No traffic. <laughs> Just go, bro. <laughs> Number two, I'll legalise MDs and cocaine. Because <laughs> you always hear on the news, like, people get busted overseas, the Australians get busted overseas, like, $30 million, whatever. That would have been in our economy. <laughs> so, waste of money. So, I'll legalise it, and then it's in our economy. <laughs> for economical purposes, you know? <laughs> so, if anyone wants to see me after the show, for economical purposes... <laughs> I know what to do. So, and I, number three, I'll change the flag. I don't want to offend anyone, but the flag is shit a bit. It's got another country's flag in our flag. That's copying, you know, use our own. Like the, you know, we've got the, the Southern Cross stars. I don't like them that much. They're not even in Australia, they're in fucking space. So what I, and what do you see when you get knocked out? You see stars, oh, I'm knocked out, I'm seeing stars. That's not good for our country. See, we look like, we look like we're knocked out and any other country can invade us. So, I've got a better idea for this new flag. Can we see it? See? That's like, we're cool, but if you fuck with us, we'll smash your one. It's much better. I think it's better, eh? Do you guys remember that comedian Ostentatious? He was really uh, popular in the 60s, remember him? <laughs> he had a hit with Australiana. I've got something similar called Lebiana. <laughs> Do you want to hear it? Yeah. All right, let's go, all right. I was on my way to a barbecue with my friend and he said, which way do you want to go? I said, via the double Beirut. <laughs> Beirut, <laughs> Beirut is the capital of Lebanon, yeah, like Sydney. So we got there and then I was on my driving and I nearly hit a tree. And my friend said, Ahmed, you need to hit a tree. I said, I didn't see the tree. <laughs> Cedar trees are the national flag for <laughs> Lebanon. It's the centre of the flag. I got, I got to the barbecue and I was talking to my friend Lee. And my, Lee was talking about religion and politics. I said, don't talk about religion and politics. It's taboo, Lee. <laughs> 
the bully is a Lebanese salad. It's nice. It's good. I was having a bite out of the burger, and like garlic sauce was dripping down my, ch my mouth. My friend Heaney, <laughs> she got a napkin and she wiped it. I said, Tahini, it's a sauce. And then my friend said, do you want another burger? I said, no thanks, I'm falafel. Yeah. That's my Lebiana anyway, yeah. But, but, all right. I'll leave with this one. Imagine Tom Ballard was a leb. <laughs> It'd be kebably. <laughs> and it'd be, it'd be on SBS. 